Welcome to my hip hop routine series. By using dance moves that I have already taught in my channel, we will learn different dance combinations in each episode. The goal here is to strengthen your dance vocabulary by using them in different combinations and increase your ability to memorize choreography faster and perform better. The entire routine contains four eight counts. You will learn in small chunks, one eight count at a time. Rewind as much as you need and move forward when you're ready. In case you didn't know, I'm Seach, I teach, and I make dance tutorial videos. If my videos are helpful and you would like to support the channel, just send me a million dollars. Or click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Ooh, and don't forget to hit the bell icon for instant notification when I post. All right, now if you're ready, put your dancing shoes on. I'll see you in the drill. Enjoy, have fun, and don't forget to make it funky. All right, guys, welcome to our first eight count choreography breakdown. So here we go. This is where we're going to go right into the techniques. First eight count, let's start. But when you start, make sure you have your legs about shoulder width apart, all right? The shoulder, the width of your shoulder, mark it straight down, and that's about where your heels should be. Your toes are a little bit wider, okay? A little bit wider. So we're not going to stand like this where, the, where our feet are parallel, like you're skiing forward. You're not going to do that. You're going to have it out, a little bit turn out, okay? So the count goes like this, five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four. Let me slow that down real quick, okay? So what I'm doing is, you gotta anticipate the music, because on this music, in this music, the five, six, seven, eight kind of goes dead, kind of goes silent. It goes right into the one, okay? So you go, you're almost going five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four. Let's focus on the bottom half first, and then we're gonna add the arms, okay? So, seven, eight, and one. Now, when I step together, it's much easier if you only step with your toe, okay? Sometimes when you do it slow, you build the habit of putting the whole feet down, and when you do that, it's a lot harder to go fast. So it's like, that's why it looks stonky, okay? So when, you do, when things go fast, I wanna prepare you. So when you go fast, just tap. When I say tap, it's just really light, okay? You're tapping with the the tip of your shoe, you're gonna go N1, and obviously now it's gonna be flat footed, okay? So this is just a tap, and it's gonna be flat, put your weight on. Seven, eight, and one, and two. So this one is the same thing, you gotta tap, okay? Now, when we go real fast, you might see me just come in like halfway. You don't need to go all the way, does that make sense? But with this beat, it's not too fast, but if it's too fast for you, just bring it just halfway and out, that's fine, it still looks good. So seven, eight, and one, and two. Now here, this is very important that your toes are still out. If you're going here and here, and then right when you go down here and your feet are flat, uh, straight parallel, then you're screwed for the next move, okay? So you gotta make sure these are parallel, or these are pointing out, okay? So one more time, and one, and two. Now from here, you're pivoting on the ball of your feet, and three. Watch out for the three. A lot of common pitfall or mistake is a lot of people go like this, and three, and they come right back up. If you come right back up, you won't be ready for the next move. You gotta go, and three. Notice the three right here. Only the knee goes out, body doesn't move. Here's the side view, okay? So you're gonna go, and three. And the whole time, I'm pivoting on the ball of my feet, okay? So the heel moves, the toes stay on the ground, or the ball of your feet stays ground, okay? So we have one more time, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four. This is now when we straighten the knee up, straighten up, and then come back, come down to the same position, all right? So hopefully you got that. If you didn't, go ahead and quickly rewind that, okay? Now, if you have that, let's focus on the arms. The arms right now, with the legs, go right leg. This is my right leg. I'm gonna go left arm, see? Seven, eight, and one. This is almost like, you know, somebody's in your way, you're like, hey, get out the way kind of thing, okay? Pull them out, that's exactly what you're doing. Seven, eight, and one, and two. This is just going the opposite side, okay? So six, seven, eight, and one, and two. Now from here, you're gonna go, and this is crossing your legs up because your knees are going in. You're gonna go, and three, coming up, and four, okay? And four, up, down. So let's try that just a little bit faster. All together, all with the four, seven, Eight, and one, and two, and three, and four. Good, 
Hopefully you got that. We're gonna move on forward quick, okay? This is only one eight count, guys. So this is four. Now you're just gonna twist your body halfway, right? So I'm only twisting my right leg. So the knee goes down, the heel goes up. See that? So I'm using my arm as counterbalance. I don't wanna go like this. You see that? Keeping my body centered. I'm going opposite way almost. So it's and five and six. Well, actually, guys, it's five and. So it's five and six and, okay? So we hold the four a little bit, watch. So seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four. So you got half a second to hold, four, okay? And then you go five and six and, then you got seven and eight, okay? So we kind of did that move previously, because we kind of re repeat that, but now we're jumping straight back up, okay? So hopefully you got that. I'm gonna do it one more time. You gotta do it with me, hopefully you got it. And rewind it back to the drill. I know I only did it once, but hopefully as you practice with me now, go back to see if you can do it with me with that one eight count, okay? Six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. So that's our first eight count, guys. Hopefully you guys got that. Make sure you got it enough so that you can go to the next drill, okay? All right, guys, see you in the next one. Okay, welcome back for the second eight count. This one is actually the Scooby Walk. I actually have an intensive or a step-by-step -step breakdown of the Scooby Walk. So if you haven't seen that, Go ahead and check it out. It's in the uh, Locking Fundamental series. I'll put a link in the description below or one of the cards you can click up here. Now, Scooby Walk. We're gonna go with our right leg, okay? We're kicking with our right leg. Seven, eight, one and two and three and four. So that's our Scooby Walk section. I'm gonna go to the side. Remember, we're kicking with our right leg. Seven, eight, one and two and three and four. Now, from here, we're gonna go Five and six. We did the, the, the knee twisting thing before, so it shouldn't be too hard. So we're gonna go uh, do this again from the second eight count, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four. Now five, again, reaching across. Five and, five and, sorry. You got five and six. Coming up, touching your shoulder, six, and seven, and Eight. This is our lock, okay? So again, those that have never seen the lock before, go to the Locking Fundamental series. A lot of this right now, the choreography, is based on the fundamental moves, okay? So the idea is you, you understand the fundamental moves, now we're building choreography, okay? So going back, let's go Scooby Walk into our lock. Seven, eight, one and two and three and four. Five and six and seven and eight. Good. And then we just lock it out. The right knee goes back, left knee pops out, it goes to the side. Everything's broken down to the lock section. But right now, get this choreography down. All right. So one more time with me. Hopefully, this is not too hard. Scooby walk. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four. Five and six and seven and eight. Very good. Get this down. Once you have it, we're gonna go to the next session and we're gonna keep moving. See you there. Okay, welcome to the next section. Now this is where we do our third eight count. And we start with the Bart Simpson, all right? This movie is called the Bart Simpson. For those that watch the cartoon, Bart Simpson, eh, anyways, leave it at that. This is called the Bart Simpson. Seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four. That section, there's the fast part, but we're not gonna get to that right now. So our first eight, first four count is the Bart Simpson. Break it down, the leg, what I'm doing is I'm going this way, okay? So don't worry about the upper body right now. Imagine you're lunging, right? Lunge forward. Well, we're not really lunging forward. We're lunging to the right side, okay? So here, to do that, you see how this is my left foot. My left foot is gonna pivot and you see that heel comes up in the air. Seven, eight, one. 
Okay, I'm gonna go down one and notice the body have to drop. So it's not like this. I gotta drop down, lungs down here. At the same time, look at my upper body. Upper body doesn't twist. Upper body try to hold. Seven, eight, one. Okay, I'm gonna throw my arms across. It kind of keeps my body back here. So seven, eight, one. And I'm gonna come back and, and up on the two. When I come back, see I'm pivoting. So it's here, here, up, twist, then up, twist, then up. Watch when I catch myself. Here's one, right on the two. You see how this, this guy twi pivot back too, right? So seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Good. Watch the upper body. Seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four. Okay? That's the bar system. That's the first four count. Okay, moving forward. Now, we got a little hand coordination, hand eye coordination, okay? So let's try this one more time. Let's finish the first four counts. Seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four. And I'm gonna touch my, two hands gonna touch the knee, and five, kicking it out. And five, and six, and seven, and eight. So this one's a little tricky if you're balanced. It's kind of, it tests your balance a little bit, all right? So be patient with this one. So one more time from the, from the bar, Simpson. Seven, eight, one, and two, and three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Here's the key on this one. Oftentimes when I teach this, a lot of people, they go like this. They stand straight up when they do this. It's harder to maintain your balance when you're so high. So the key is, when I finish three and four after the bar Simpson, I go, and five, and six. Notice my body stays down, and my knees are slightly bent. You can't tell from the front, but from the side you can. So I go, and five, and six, and seven. And on the eight, then I come straight up, okay? That's the time I come straight up. Other than that, I'm low. It keeps me better balanced, so I don't fall during the routine, all right? So use that. If you could balance any way you want, that's great. That's better for you. But here's the tip. Stay low, better for you, okay? So here we go. Let's put this whole third eight count together. Six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. For some of you, if you're really, really uh, diligent or scrupulous, you will see that sometimes I turn the head, and sometimes I don't. So is there a right way, wrong way? Nah, it's just... If you have it, do it, right? Sometimes you do it to, to put a little bit more uh, emphasis. You want to look. Sometimes you're, it doesn't matter, okay? So the basis of, of, of Bart Simpson, do it. If you want to, don't do it if you don't. But whatever you do, make sure you do it on the beat, okay? All right. So that is our third eight count. Hopefully you guys practice that. Get that down good. If you're ready, then move on to the next one. Hmm. Okay guys, we're at the last eight counts of our choreography drill. So here we go. This one kind of starts a little bit different. We start in this position, right? Because remember that at the end of the last eight count, we end up here. This is your eight. So I'm going to start there later, but right now I want to teach this move. This is basically out, in, up, down. You kind of slide a little bit right here. I want you to practice this a little bit, all right? So the weight, where's the weight? The weight is on my left leg. So basically, my right leg can do whatever it wants without losing my balance. If I put balance, if I put weight on the right, then it's a lot harder to move it. Does it make sense? Okay, so what I'm doing is just with the tip of my toe, keep it on the ground. I don't want to lift it up. I want to maybe draw a line out and in. That's it. Notice my body. I don't put weight here. My body is still right over my left leg. I'm going as low as I can where I can reach far and I come back. So for the choreography, you don't need to go so far because it's kind of fast, right? You don't have to have to go one so quick. It's one end. You, you see how very quick I go one end right there? 
So seven, eight, one and two and, okay? So it's a little slide and bounce. Slide and bounce, slide and bounce, okay? Very important that you keep your weight all in the center because if you don't, you're gonna mess up, you're gonna compromise your balance and the timing will be compromised, all right? So right when you go five and six and seven, eight, right here, look at the back. If I stay here, this is wrong. This is right. You see how minor the difference is? Because if I'm back here, my weight's on the right side, then I can't move. I gotta make sure I put my weight to the front side, which is my left side, then the right leg can move, okay? So right at the seven and eight right here, immediately put your weight to the front side, then I have one and two and three and four, all right? So hopefully you guys got that. Now as far as the arms, I'm not too worried about it. It's basically out, down, out, down. You can add that, you don't need that, it's up to you, okay? So, seven, eight, one and two and three and four. Now, this is just the bounce or the funky hip hop march that I, that I do. You see this in a lot of the 80s, 80s rap songs. Crisscross wanna make you jump, jump, okay? So you see that there. So what am I doing? I'm sitting on the beat, one, two, three, four. Right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg. Very important that your chest bounce as well. So it's not just, you see how I'm doing? Like just no, no chest, chest, no chest. We want chest, chest, okay? Now this is where we do the, I call this chop, chop. You're chopping opposite arm, opposite leg, right? Right knee goes up, left arm chops, opposite, opposite, okay? So in our choreography, we got five and six and seven and eight. I call this you chop, you chop, you're safe, you're safe, okay? So put that eight count together, seven, eight, one and two and three and four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's it, that's our last eight count, okay? Hopefully you guys got that. Any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. If you like it, obviously you know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe, and all that stuff. But main thing is get this down. Hopefully it'll, it'll help you. Again, this choreography section, I didn't want to start with this one. You guys should know that I have fundamental and basic drills first because choreography to me is like putting paragraphs together, putting sentence structures together versus before you, need, before you should do that, you should understand what each word means. And that's what those fundamental moves are. Know how to do those moves before you put a whole choreography section together. Does that make sense? Hopefully you guys understand that. Hopefully you guys, you appreciate this way of learning. Okay. And I, I feel that you guys are going to get a lot more out of it when you learn this way. All right, guys, done with this section. Get to the next session because now we got to put the whole thing together.